Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Kulecha and I welcome you. In this video, uh, I am going to talk about how to get started on the journey of uh, reading the Buddha's Sutras, which is the actual text discourses that Buddha had given. Right? So first of all, I will say that if the desire to, uh, to study the Buddha's actual teachings, the actual discourses has arisen in you, I, I salute you and I really, really congratulate you. If in this lifetime, if this desire has uh, has has started in us then we are we are fortunate then uh, uh, you, you are really fortunate i will just say right okay so uh, just before proceeding a note uh, that if you are a beginner if you are a beginner to uh, buddhism or bu understanding buddha's teachings my suggestion will be not to start uh, reading sutra by sutra because it can confuse you and you'll miss the it will take you time to get the gist of the core teachings of the buddha so for that I have made another video, uh, Beginner's Guide to Buddha's Teachings. You can see that and you will get an idea on how as a beginner you should start. Right? So your first aim should be getting a hold on the Four Noble Truths, four, uh, eight, Noble Eightfold Path, uh, Three Marks of Existence, these core teachings. And then as your desire arises, then you can start reading the uh, actual sutras. I, in my view, that approach is better for a beginner. Rest you can decide. Right Now, First, what is important is you have to clear. I've just made a few points so that I don't get lost. So the first important thing is that clear your why of the reading of the sutras, right? You should, should, you should be clear why you are spending this time reading of the sutras instead of doing some other things like partying or socializing or, you know, uh, uh, watching Netflix or something. So that understanding has to be very clear in you. You can also even journal this uh, in your some register or something. Why? Because that understanding only will keep us motivated to be, to keep, so there's no point, you know, uh, studying one sutra and then don't, not doing it. It has to be a practice and it's not going to be easy initially till we get into the groove, right? So I have made another video on nine benefits of uh, studying the, reading the Buddhist uh, sutras. So you can also go through that video. There are plenty of benefits and, and in my view, if I, if I, if you ask me one benefit, I study the sutras daily. Right, it's my, it's my, it's my job. It's my, I mean, it's not my job. I will say, but it's my, it's my passion, and which I try to share it with other people. Apart from my other activities, the one benefit that I will say is that in this lifetime, if we get to study or read the what the Buddha actually said, right, the enlightened actually said, then there is no other, you know, benefit that we can get in this life. If we even spend some time uh, studying some time of our life is this life if we do in this then our life is worth it right so uh, check my other video on the why uh, of uh, nine benefits right okay now which sutra to start with now the problem is that when you start reading the buddha sutras okay you have decided that i want to read the buddha sutras now the first problem that you'll face is there are so many sutras there are long discourses middle length discourses uh, numbered discourses link discourses this, that, lo lot of, see, Buddha spent 45 years traveling, teaching people, right? So everything is consolidated in the sutras. And wherever he went, he basically, whatever the audience was there, he adjusted his guidance to them, right? So on one aspect itself, there you'll find many, many, you know, uh, uh, expositions of the Buddha. And there are several commentaries and all on top of that, right? So you'll get confused. I am trying to make it simply, simpler for you. Right, so that you we can make a start. So, my first suggestion will be that if you want to go and start reading the Buddha, what the Buddha said, right? The first book that I will suggest is read this book, right? Start with the Dhammapada, right? It is a profound uh, 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 text by the Buddha, right? It's by the Buddha and uh, it's in short, short verses and mainly intended for lay people like us, right? We are not we are not monks. Right? We are lay people. So it's, it's intended for lay people. It's very, very short verses. And uh, uh, the, what the translation that I uh, st uh, use for my study and for making my videos also, I have used the, the translation. The, the text is from this book by Eknath Iswaran, introduced and translated by Eknath Iswaran. So this is one version. There is a, uh, a Radha Krishnan version. Many versions are there. But this is one I really, really uh, enjoy. You know, sometimes I just pick up one one of the uh, versions and I just uh, one of the pages and I just study some, some of the 
uh, Dhampada verses. So this is the first book that you can buy. It's available on Amazon, Flipkart, or, or wherever you are there in this world. Uh, it's available online. So you can check out this Dhammapad. It's also available on Buddhanet website as a free version. Not this book, but um, about the Dhammapad uh, book, right? So you can check out, right? So Dhammapad is the first book that you can start with. And then what you can additionally do is that you can supplement your learning with my videos. So what I have done is that uh, uh, 2020 verses I have picked up in each video. And I am making videos like 1 to 20 verses 20, 21 to 40. And then I am sharing my learnings from that. So that if you feel like, if you have the time, you can supplement uh, your learning through my videos. There is a full Dhammapath playlist available on this channel. You can refer. So that's the first thing. Now, when you, second is after Dhammapath, after Dhammapath what? Now, see, understand this. Buddhism has its various traditions, right? Like there is the Theravada tradition, the school of elders, which is the earliest kind of a tradition. Then there is the, uh, the uh, Mahayana tradition. Again in Mahayana, there is the Zen tradition, the Pure Land tradition, right? Various traditions. Then there is the Tibetan, uh, the uh, Vajrayana tra tradition, right? That is like three, three main traditions. Now, all these three traditions refer uh, to a canon. Canon is like a list of texts, like right? so Theravada, refer to a Theravada text, right? Theravada canon, right? Pali canon. Then uh, the Mahayana Buddhism, Buddhists, they refer to the Chinese canon, right? And then the Tibetan, they have a, uh, their, uh, another set of books. Now, this is, now from here it starts getting confusing. Which, because then if you say that which, uh, uh, you know, books I need, I need to read. So first you need to decide which tradition you want to practice, right? So, see, understand one thing. There is no good, there is no uh, better tradition or a lower tradition. All traditions lead to the same path of what Buddha said, right, of Nirvana. Now, only is the way the traditions are, are uh, uh, have the knowledge is captured is different. And I believe that more or less, a person is guided towards a tradition. A person doesn't tradition choose a tradition, the tradition chooses the person, right? So whichever, so first pick up one tradition, right? So you can just get a, I have made a separate video on the different traditions of Buddhism. You can get a basic idea, a very, very basic idea on the different traditions of Buddhism, right? And, and then you can start from there, pick up one tradition and start reading the books. Now, from, for me, what I can say, I don't know about the other traditions. So I've been following, in, initially I was following the Zen tradition, uh, uh, mostly the, the Plum Village tradition, but then I shifted to the Theravada tradition, right? So now I follow the Theravada tradition where it's the Pali Canon, where there's a, the Tripitaka, right? Three baskets, right? Uh, so three, those three baskets are there and in this, the uh, whole of the information. So it's a Vinay, uh, Vinaypatika, where basically the monastic discipline is there. Then there is a Sutras, then there is the Abhidharma, right, which is the higher commentaries, right. So for me, it's the sutras. Even in sutras, there are middle length, uh, uh, longer discourses, number discourses. So all these things is there. Now you'll find lot of uh, places, uh, 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 lot of uh, 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 articles where they have clearly uh, explained, you know, how they it's organized. I have to also make a video on that. I'll make it in some time, but. Uh, below, I have given a link to an article I found by Alan Pito. Uh, it's a very, very good article and uh, I have given the link. Yeah, I'm just... So, Alan Pito's article on Buddhist scriptures, you, you will find it uh, down below and then you can use it to get an idea on uh, the uh, script. So, first decide on the tradition, right? So, I follow the Theravada tradition, right, which is mainly for the monks, but I, I prefer it because it's the earliest tradition right, of the Buddha's teachings. But then every tradition is take, taking you to the same path. Whatever you resonate with, you can start with. Okay. Okay. Now for Theravada, now, now, uh, okay. For, now, if you want to know which, where are these texts available? So for Theravada, uh, in that Alan Pito's article, he has given the list of websites where the uh, sutras are available. For Like for Theravada, uh, you can go to websites like Sutra, S S Sutta Central. S U T A Central .net. Like I refer most of my work is I refer that particular website or dhamatalks.org. Some two three websites are there which contain a list of all the discourses, right? And the best thing about them is that they are like uh, even the copyright free. They are free of even copyright, and they have done such such beautiful work compiling everything. So so we can refer those 
and uh, god bless buddha buddha buddhi satwas bless them uh, or the people that who have uh, done this all work right okay now so that your tradition is decided and uh, now and you know that okay this is the website which contains the sutras so like i for the sutracenter.net website you can find out your website where the discourses are there now how to move forward now there are like two ways uh, to move forward right one is the anthology ways like where basically is a anthology of buddha's teachings like it's on themes like uh, uh, buddha's birth uh, uh, then buddha's initial life then buddha's teachings on on this that it's like arranged theme wise in books right or you can go directly reading one by one sutras right so if you want to go anthology wise here is a book in the buddha's words by bhikkhu bodhi it's a beautiful work on the anthology of buddha's key discourses are collected in this particular book so you can refer this book if you are from india then there is a it's by wisdom publishers but in india pariyati has a has also has a, a version for indian subcontinent which is a lower price one so you can refer that it's available on amazon and uh, all other places it's available or you can buy it from wisdom publications website the link is given below you can buy this book from there so it's like a one good book that you can refer anthology as an anthology right second is direct sutra reading as i said you can consult either a sutra central website or something right then you will find numbered one by one and then you can if reading like some for for me it's like reading is difficult from the directly on the computer then i take the print out of the verses that i want to read and then i go through right okay so that you can do right okay so when you talk about anthology there are two books one is the buddha's in the buddha's words another book is in uh, buddhist life buddhist path buddhist life buddhist path um uh, by bhikkhu chin chintita is this the name i am just getting confused that also link is there in the description you can check out that book is available free of cost or uh, uh, that you can just uh, refer that book right so that is anthology wise direct sutras for theravada i have told sutra central for other traditions you can refer to alan pito's article below on scriptures right now uh Okay, so now now let's come to the reading tips, right? Now, what you need to do, how to read? Now, dedicate a fixed time and place for your reading, right? So, if you have to make it, you have to be serious about it, right? Uh, it's not a like a, you know, like something which is not to be taken serious. This serious work. So, even fifteen minutes, that's fine. Fifteen to thirty minutes every day in the evening after you come from work, you can just relax, freshen up. and then have a some meditation and then but decide the time and place right uh, that you will do the reading now ensure that the mind is clear not dull or tired because when you read the buddha's discourses uh, to get that message your mind should be clear right uh, so uh, best thing is to do it early in the morning when you wake up when the mind is fresh in the evening if you do then you need to ensure that your mind is fresh so you can just meditate you can do breath awareness anapansati meditation for some time like 5 10 minutes to get into a clear state of meditation or what 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 i do is sometimes by the evening i'm tired so i just take a quick 5 10 10 15 minutes nap right and then when i awaken then it's like my mind is very fresh so that is again option that you can choose create a journal a dedicated journal it need not be a fancy journal just a a register a note a notebook or a register where you can record the reflections more important than the reading is the reflections right and the reflections will also change as we progress spiritually right so uh, uh, so have a re dedicated register to record your reflections so after the sutra right immediately after the sutra or next day right next day before read, starting the reading of the sutra you can just journal on the last day's observations i would prefer that when you read a sutra just journal your key learnings and how you are going to implement in your day in your daily life right buddha's teachings is always about we do, we see we are not going to get uh, a theory, uh, theoretical or, or a phd and or some designation no we are not after that if you want if you are after that then there are so many commentaries and all that you can keep reading but my goal at least is not that my goal is to follow what buddha said that it to be implemented in the daily life right so make a journal of even two three points 
So what it is, does is that every day, day by day that you are doing this, you and me, we are doing this, it goes in our subconscious. Our subconscious becomes enriched with these. So maybe immediately there are no changes that we start seeing in our life. Right? We may not be able to practice the right speech. We may have anger and all. But slowly, slowly, those changes will start happening. The knowledge will click at the time when it is needed. Like if you are in a situation, a tense situation, the knowledge will you know, immediately click. That is the benefit of re reading the sutras. Right? And so just reflect. Then sutras, please understand sutras contain repetitions, right? Because see Buddha, how Buddha explained. So, so when Buddha was explaining people, he was explaining people who are lay people, like right? they needed some kind of a repetition, right? So not everyone is as sharp as you, right? So uh, I'm just joking here. So Buddha wanted to repeat the particular message so that it enters, so you know, the enters the person's psyche. So a lot of times you see Buddha's readings, the messages are repeated. Just read them. Go through them. Because you also need that repetition in your mind. Right? So read. And then there are similes. Certain similes are there. Buddha used a lot of similes or analogies. Right? Because he wanted to connect it with that person. And in the Dhammapada, you will see a lot of analogies. Right? Like for example, there is an analogy that a, a passion will never enter, will, not, will never be able to enter a man, uh, uh, a person passion can never be able to enter a, a, a well-thatched hut but it can enter in an ill-thatched hut because he was addressing people who had huts and everything and dwellings and animals and poultry and everything so yes there will be similes which were to those times right which are not applicable today but just take it in your stride right okay then uh, start with anapan meditation that i have already said uh, anapan is definitely the meditation but also i have made a video on insight meditation which is the 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 meditation that was taught by the Buddha, Vipassana, insight meditation. So I've made a video on that. You can check out too. I'll make, make more videos on insight meditation as I am learning in my journey. So wait for those videos. Now, uh, when you are reading, you can take a printout. I do take a printout uh, of one, one sutra. So, so what, again, when you are reading, there are two ways. You can directly read like a long discourse. Long discourse is one by one. Or another way to do it is through an index, subject index, where there are the sutras are arranged through num themes like aging, death, giving, uh, uh, impermanence. Then what I do is that I check the e subject index on the Sutra Central website and I just randomly whatever comes to my mind, whatever I am inclined for that particular day, I select that sutra, uh, check that sutra online and, uh, and just take a printout. Right? So for me that works better. For you, if it's like one by one by one, if you want to do, you can do that also. Right? Okay. Uh, another thing is that Sutra reading is fine, but, but side by side, we also need to practice the five precepts and the noble eightfold path, our med daily meditation practice and our daily meditation, mindfulness and daily activities, we need to ensure. Right? So, so these are some reading tips I have given. I hope they made just like even that one percent difference maybe helping you in your uh, Buddha study path, Buddha teaching study path, it will be, you know, my work will be done. Uh, any help uh, uh, you need, feel free to comment below and I will uh, guide you um, whatever little I know of from and uh, you can even uh, uh, send me a WhatsApp or you can email me the numbers, uh, the details are given below and on whatever help you need in this direction, if you are stuck, do, do don't feel free to reach out to me. Right. Uh, or and also check out the helpful articles. I have put a list of helpful articles and links to certain books that I have spoken in this video. I have given them in the description below. You can also refer that. Um, I wish you all the best in your learning journey. Stay connected and uh, Namo Buddhaya. Thank you so much. Namo Buddhaya.